parental alienation then and now. I hope that some of you out there will find these messages helpful for you along your way in your journey. Many of you may have different experiences from around the world, but it's these stories that will bring a level of freedom and healing to anyone that might be experiencing parental alienation. So I wanted to start with parental alienation then and now. Ten years ago, I didn't understand what it exactly is or what it means or what it looks like or the different shapes that it takes over a period of time. Currently, in the now, I have learned the different dynamics, the different shapes, all the different forms that it takes. It continues to evolve itself. Parental alienation can spread like a virus and it's not something that can be readily self-contained. You can try to contain it. Um, you try in the beginning to keep it from friends and family. You're even in a state of denial. You may not even understand it yourself um, because it's more psychological than anything. And I think because this level of, um, I will call it abuse because that's what it is, um, because you can't see the wounds and there's no um, physical bruises for people to see, uh, they don't understand it. And what I will tell you is the importance of educating yourself, but also coming from a neutral standpoint and keeping the children first, which can, it can be hard at times because you're in the middle of this fight and there are times that you might forget that, you know, while you're in this back and forth match, you know, you have to keep in mind that, wait, hold on, what am I doing this for? What I will tell you 10 years in is I didn't know what parental alienation was. I didn't know what it means. I didn't know that it was psychological. I didn't understand it myself. But the inside, the internal part of me had a very, very close relationship with it because I was a child of parental alienation and I did experience those dynamics of the high conflict and the separation and all the psychological things that I went through in my childhood. So you can understand that when you're walking through something like this from your childhood into adulthood, you can see how it manifests or uh, metamorph, you know, morphs itself into something a lot more bigger than what you anticipated uh, um, to take on, <laughs> including what the relationships are like that you encountered, you know, from your childhood to, you know, teen and then your adult life and, you know, as you're going on in this journey. And I will tell you that although this journey has been very hard, it has been hurtful, it has been at times very, very crippling, it did take me back to my childhood. It gave me the opportunity to have a dual perspective, the perspective of the parent as an individual, human being for some of you that are not treated like human beings. But it also gave me another perspective of what the child how I felt when I was a child and with all the high conflict that was going on and all the questions that I had and all the emotions that I received that I could not understand or process. And because of that, I wanted to make sure that I had a voice for childhoodity. It was much more than, you know, children being alienated from their parents or, you know, um, uh, the alienated versus the alienator, the victim versus, you know, it was much more than that for me. It was critical that the awareness um, be brought to whether it's the parents, whether it's um, 
relatives, close relatives, especially aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents, um, friends, colleagues, people that you work with, because parental alienation, you know, it becomes somewhat like, you know, it starts off as like a little cough, you know, then over time it's, you know, got a sore throat and after the sore throat, it's got, you know, a full on cold and now your nose is running and, you know, it just, you're trying to do what you can to take care of the cough, you know, the cold and the sore throat and the runny nose and, and then it just kind of keeps going, you know, you might have a little break and you're like, oh, okay, I took, you know, Tylenol cold and flu, or, you know, I took Advil, you know, flu relief. And you're thinking, okay, I am able to get over this virus or whatever this is that I have that's supposed to be temporary, which now seems to have attached itself to anything and everything that I hold dear. And because parental alienation is psychological, and if you are um, a victim of it from when you are a child, then, you know, that prison alone, that emotional place, you know, that you have to go back to and remember all of the things, the pain, um, the confusion, um, all of those things get revisited in that moment. And... I remember when I got into my adult, you know, my adult life, and I didn't really quite know exactly who I was. I didn't have my own feelings or my own thoughts or my own vision. Everything was styled and um, designed around that one parent whose opinion became the first priority in my life. And in that, there was no room for anything else. And so the process of not knowing the other half of who I am or not allowing um, the growth or the opportunity to have that exchange or to evolve into something great, um, it becomes a very toxic and confusing confusion. Uh, confusing, I'm sorry, confusing situation. And when you're young and you don't understand how to process these thoughts, and I think that part is so critical is when you're young, you know, you want to go outside and play, you know, you're not thinking about high conflict or who wants you more than the other parent or whose time, what table time is it, your schedule, my schedule, their schedule, exchange drop over here, over there. You know, as a child, you're not, you're not, thinking about that, nor should you be. You just want the time. You want the time, you know, with both parents, preferably if you could. And you're not in a place to where you can process that. But what happens is, is you're on this journey and you're young and you don't understand what's happening. You know that there's a divide. You don't know where that divide came from, you know, but you're watching this other parent that's going through this pain and you don't understand where their pain is coming from. So now you start adopting those attributes from that parent, you know, and at the start of that already, you're in a place of where you lost your identity.